Uh, Classic Retro Moderns at the NEC Classic Car Show this weekend and we're talking to the delicious Steph Holloway from iDriver Classic who you read about in issue one. You've probably seen her Proton, if you've seen her channel it's been everywhere. Steph, what sort of a weekend have you had? This weekend has been absolutely incredible. I've been on the YouTuber stand with Ian from Hubnut and Matt from Furious Driving and we have had a fantastic time. We've met hundreds of subscribers from as far away as New York and Ireland and mainland Europe. It's been absolutely incredible. Okay, and, uh, and, and who's getting the most attention out of the three of you? Well, I think that's really unfair because... Of course it is. Who said it would be <laughs> it's fair? Ian. It's I, Ian. I never said it would be fair. <laughs> it's Ian, of course it's Ian. He's like the Princess Diana of the stand. Everyone <laughs> loves him. Uh, yeah, I always think of Princess Diana when I see him. Yes, <laughs> obvious comparison. So you've got your Proton. Yeah. How long have you had the Proton now? Gosh, I've had it a couple of months now and I've done an incredible 5,000 miles. Okay, so uh, yeah, plenty of use. And, and how are you getting on with it? Have you fallen in love with it? Well, rather begrudgingly, yes. Um, and I don't know if that's because it starts first time every time, including if you've seen the video. So it's got nearly a quarter of a million views now. We dragged it out of that old man's garage. It hadn't been driven in 11 years. Came straight out, put a fresh battery on it, turned the key to see what would happen, and it started straight up. And ever since I've owned it, I mean, it's not going to start when I leave now, but ever since I owned it, it's just started straight on the button. And, it's and what have you had to, to do since you bought it? Service it and put new tyres on it. Okay, so overhaul the ignition, new fuel filter, that kind of stuff. Yeah, all of just, that. Just and the basics. Yeah, and I got that done at work. I didn't do that myself because I feel like I didn't want to overexert myself. I thought, there's no point being a hero trying to fix a car that is actually really good when I'm used to, you know, the BL rubbish that I usually have. So I've just put it to a BL professional. BL rubbish? I'm outraged. I'm outraged <laughs> on behalf of our viewers. BL rubbish? No, I love my cars. I say endearingly, my marine and my child. I know, I know you yeah. love your cars. So what's next for the Proton? What's next for the Proton? Gosh, I don't know. I feel an enormous responsibility owning it, and I do wonder if perhaps once it comes to springtime, so I've got quite a busy winter, once it comes to spring, I will then find the next owner. I've had two offers already and several more kind of less serious offers, but two very serious offers on the table already. So I think what will happen is keeping in theme with the NEC, which is Journey Continues this year. Thinking about the Journey Continuing for this car, I think I'll try and rehome it with either a Proton Enthusiast of which they an offer or a collector or a specialist. So presumably, so I'm right in thinking it had just over 10,000 miles when you got it. It did, it's now 15,000. So <laughs> in a couple more months you've doubled the mileage. Yeah, but everybody's sitting in their armchairs that, at that's home. That's right, that's how it's Yeah, sitting. everybody's sitting at home in their armchairs moaning about how you're not going to be able to use cars because of the devil electric coming in. But actually, why don't we just enjoy the cars whilst they're here? And it'll still be low mileage when it's on 20,000 and I'll have ironed out all the problems. So the next person that gets it gets a perfect storm of all the best ingredients. Um, and what's next for the channel? Next to the channel, well, I have finished doing all my videos for the year now. I've got one left to do with Andrew Roberts um, on a particular very special car. But apart from that, we have teamed up with Great British Car Journey for some videos. There is a road trip from... So the Great British Car Journey is a museum in Derbyshire. It is, yeah. With all the kind of family cars. Yeah, it opened this year. It's got a fantastic selection of cars. They've also got a facility called Drive Dad's Car where you can hire the cars and take them for a little drive so I pinched two of their cars from that collection taken them on a drive had a fantastic time bringing those up one of them was a car that I've always wanted to own so I'm very excited to show everybody that we've got something pre-war we've got a road trip in a Morris Minor from Huddersfield down to Somerset and it's not just and it's not just any Morris Minor, it's a side valve from 1951. So there's plenty of variety coming for the channel for the rest of this year. I don't know if you got away with that. Nearly got photo bombed by the cleaner. I don't know if you managed to retrieve that. So do we just sneak it to shot? Okay, so she's going to be famous. <laughs> so, um, just like Steph. Well, thanks so much for that. Sounds like you've had a great Thank weekend. You Richard. And uh, look forward to catching up with you next season. And I look forward to reading the next episode issue of Classic Retro Modern. <laughs>